In a developing story, we have been following Adam McComb from a heartbreaking loss of a four-year-old Tyrell Miller. Our McKinsey Laporte, she's joining us in studio tonight with updates from the Comb Police Department on the investigation. Also shares a timeline from the day of the incident leading up to the present time. McKinsey. The Macomb Police Department released information this week sharing the department is moving forward with their own internal investigation from the March 16th deadly incident that ultimately took the life of four-year-old Tyrell Miller. This after state's attorneys Matt Kala's review finding that there is no basis for any criminal action against any of the officers involved in the tragic incident. On March 16th, 2024, at 10 p.m., Macomb police officers responded to the 900 block of North Charles following multiple 911 calls for an active domestic violence incident. Upon arriving, officers discovered a 36-year-old woman who had numerous visible injuries and multiple stab wounds. Along with the woman, officers observed a male suspect in the apartment who was armed with a knife while holding a four-year-old child. In the following days on March 18th, the Illinois State Police shared their team reviewed body camera footage, evidence, witness interviews, and autopsy reports. Their investigation shows officers encountered a man with a knife. The man left the view of officers but returned holding a four-year-old child with a knife around the child's throat and another around the waist. On March 21st, community members in Macomb gathered for a candlelight vigil for four-year-old Tyrell Miller. Cars lined the road with family and friends and community members joining to pay their respects to Miller. Family members expressed the pain they feel following the loss of the four-year-old and want answers and justice. This week on July 23rd, the Macomb Police Department shared that the department intends to release body camera video of the incident after communicating with the families of the victims. KHQA will continue to bring the latest details on the investigation as more information becomes available. Working for you, I'm Mackenzie Laporte.